Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 25, and this is war number three. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Avengers 716. So we're going to scout out the defense. All right, spectate. I take path three in uh, sections one and two. And I'm a little late here. Um, but it looks like they don't have a defender on that first node, which is a pretty common occurrence. Then I've got to fight this Iceman, so I'm going to want to bring someone that can deal with that. Uh, fortunately, I often bring Warlock. All right, then we've got Emma Frost, who can be annoying, uh, but should be able to handle her uh, with Warlock as well, uh, provided he is in good shape after uh, that Iceman fight. And uh, Korg probably will not take him. We have somebody that does that fight really well. We've got Doom, who maybe I will end up taking. We will see. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant might be able to do that fight. Um, I don't know. Warlock might be able to do that fight. Uh, Nick Fury can probably do that fight as well. All right. And then we have our favorite Colossus on that node there. Black Widow Clairvoyant will take care of him. We've got Mordo. Mordo, um, I can probably take with any of the champions I'm planning on bringing. Uh, then we've got uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. And we ideally want someone on this particular node uh, that has some kind of power control. Uh, so I may or may not end up taking that fight. All right, and then uh, Mini Boss Island, it's gonna really depend on what shape I'm in and whether I am needed uh, to fight any of these guys here. Uh, Nick Fury, if he's in good shape, can possibly deal with that mojo. Uh, possibly also can deal with that uh, cosmic, I keep saying cosmic, um, Captain Marvel movie there. Uh, that Warlock can be a royal pain but Warlock is a good counter to that Warlock. So we'll, we'll have to see how it goes when we get down there. Uh, others may have better options. Uh, but So it looks like I'm going to bring in my standard team, Black Widow Clairvoyant, Warlock, and Nick Fury. That should clear my paths and allow me to help out as needed on some of these fights. All right, so we'll be back in a moment. And we will get the fighting started. All right, so we're back. And we are about to have a very interesting war. I got a lot of action in this war. Uh, did quite a few fights. Uh, more than I usually do. All right, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, so as we already scouted out our paths, uh, that first node, empty. Thank you. I love it when there's no uh, defender there. Uh, but that does make me feel kind of responsible to tackle the mini boss if I'm able to. You know, if I just don't have good options, then I'll say so. Uh, but in this case, I have a good option. So this first fight is against Iceman. So of course, I'm going to bring in Warlock. Uh, Warlock is immune to all that damage that Iceman likes to do, cold snap, and all that good stuff. All right, you saw the nose that we have to deal with. Pretty straightforward fight. Uh, one of the things you don't want to do is take too long. All right, uh, that can get you wrecked. So this fits my style perfectly because I want to fight aggressive and get them down as fast as possible. All right, messed up there, but look. Look how much damage that did. This is a low-level uh, Iceman here. All right, so didn't do a lot of damage. And, of course, I'm immune to Cold Snap, so it didn't matter. All right, so pretty uh, easy fight. Uh, I think we're down at Tier 4 right now. So, you know, a little easier wars than you've seen uh, in the past. All right, so now we've got Emma Frost. And I thought about this. So I could have taken this fight 
with anyone on my team. But I decided to go in with Warlock. I like Warlock. And also, Warlock has a armor break on his special two. So that was kind of my thinking there. You know, go in here with Warlock, um, get to a special two, armor breaker, and then have a easier time. All right, so as you can see here, we've kept those infections up, fired off the special two, which ripped her a new one. All right, she's got a special one, not anymore. Uh, love Warlock, so much uh, utility. All right, uh, and she's still armor broken there. All right, all right, now she's not armor broken anymore. Um, I think I messed up there. Uh, I'm trying to remember, there is a way. Uh, but look at that damage that she was doing, hitting into my block, okay? Never got hit, but look at the damage. That's because of the node. They just keep getting the Furies up. And the more Fury she gets, the harder she hits, all right? But uh, as I was saying before, I think there's a way to maintain the armor breaks, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, I need to look into that. Um, but the armor broke uh, breaks fell off, all right? <clears throat> but we still got her down. Now, I do not fight this cord. Uh, I have done so in the past, especially if I bring uh, Omega Red, but we have someone that does that fight beautifully, so I let him do that. Because uh, I hate Mixed Master. Uh, but Falcon can do that fight. Omega Red can do that fight. Uh, and if you just play around the Mixed Master, uh, you really just need a, a good cord counter. And you can do that fight. Alright, so we're on to Section 2, Path 3. And we are about to fight my favorite guy. Uh, he's just the one that you always see on this node. Uh, it's very rare for me to see someone other than Colossus. It's a good placement for him. I just happen to have the counter for him. All right. Uh, so you can see the nodes that we have to deal with. Uh, ideally, you want to bring in someone who is bleed immune. Black Widow Clairvoyant in her Curse of Blood is bleed immune. Uh, someone who can nullify. Black Widow Clairvoyant can nullify. All right. So as you can see, we're just chopping him down. Um, I'm in Curse of Hellfire right now, which is her damage phase. All right. So look at that damage. And just wrecking him. All right. And at this point, he doesn't have enough health really for me to get health back. But I switched to Curse of Blood just in case. Uh, but he, he's down. Uh, but what you would normally do, like in a longer fight, after you spend some time doing a lot of damage with the... Uh, Hellfire, Curse of Hellfire, uh, if your health is a little bit low, switch to blood, and then you can get it back with some special twos, and then you can go back. All right, but in a fight like this, you really don't have that much time to uh, do that. They just don't have the health pools for it. All right, so now we're going to fight Mordo, and I was kind of worried about this Mordo. All right, um, the node doesn't really make him any more difficult, but I was thinking, if this Mordo decides to act up, then I want Nick Fury in here so that I can handle, uh, you know, quite a few special threes, All right? But as you can see here, Mordo's actually being aggressive. Look at that, he didn't turtle up during the uh, power gain. He actually attacked me. So this is the Mordo that I like to see, okay? He baited out his specials, you know, um, allowed me to bait those specials out. Look at that. That was a beautiful Mordo fight. No problems whatsoever. Mordo was playing nice. All right, so I've taken the first mini and I cleared my path and I'm looking at that mini up there. And I still need to practice playing against Cosmic Ghost Rider. Why not? All right, so. We're gonna take this Cosmic Ghost Rider. Um, you can see here, I decided to heal up a little bit. Uh, I try to keep at least four, maybe five of those on hand just in case, all right? And so I'm just like, okay, we should be able to do this, especially on this node, I wanted to use Warlock uh, because his infection will keep uh, him from healing. So, you know, even though he's bleed immune and all that good stuff, now, here's another 
uh, thing that I did here for this fight. Now I get plenty of these uh, and I don't tend to use them. So I decided to go ahead and use it. Uh, that's going to give me a lot more power back when I do uh, my specials, I believe. And this one here, that advanced power boost is great for this node because if you want to ignore the node, what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot of suppressions and your power is going to go bye-bye. You're not going to be able to build up to a special three uh, or a special two even. All right. So you can see here, I started with uh, one bar of power and I'm already at a special two and I fired it off, which reset all of the counters. Okay. Um, but we didn't get a lot of power back. Uh, I always forget how that works. Uh, and I don't believe it was effective here, but the advanced power boost, that was key. So I probably wasted that uh, 150 tech boost, but it's all good. Uh, we got him down without too much difficulty. All right, nice and straightforward. Uh, I have fought champions on that node where I just got wrecked. I wasn't prepared. So this time I'd rather go ahead and waste a boost than uh, to tackle that and mess up. All right, so now I had already looked around and as you can see, the right side is already done. They're clear. And uh, I'm being asked, you know, take whoever you feel comfortable with. All right, so I'm gonna go up here and fight this Warlock. Now you remember I said Warlock is a great counter for Warlock on that node. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Um, that fight is fairly straightforward. Okay, you saw the nodes. Um, I read the nodes. And uh, I believe that we can easily get the one shot against this Warlock. All right, so nothing fancy. I love Warlock. He's pretty straightforward. All right, want to get those infections up on him. I like getting the infections up on him. Um that's why I do a lot of parrying. I love seeing that infection. I'm in the corner, but that's okay. We got the infection and now we're on the attack. All right, get that special two off. Look at that damage. Boom, loving it. All right, so I'm just like, yeah. I'm looking at his health and I'm like, we got this. We have got this. And then I did this. This was bad, guys. You may have forgotten the node. Look at my health. Did you see my health just disappear? When I was fighting, I saw my health disappear like that. And I'm like, whoa, what just happened? What did I do? Oh my goodness, how did I? And I was a little bit panicked, but I kept my head. What happened is the Hurt Locker node. If you do two specials, the same special in a row, it puts a timer on you. And I believe you have to do a heavy or something like that in order to uh, stop that timer. But if that timer goes down, which it did, you take a huge amount of damage. So that wrecked the Warlock. I'm not healing him back up. Uh, I would have used him against Nick Fury here. Um, you can see here, you know, enhanced special two, special two bias, that improved power gain, Warlock could have handled it just fine. So I had actually planned to take this fight with Warlock, but I messed up, did two, special twos in a row and got wrecked. All right, so now I'm like, you know what? We're about to find out who the real Nick Fury is. So I decided to bring in my Nick Fury. All right, now he doesn't have any power control or anything like that, but that's fine because the power gain actually will work in my favor because I want to push Nick Fury to a special two as often as possible. All right, you see how I backed off? See, he's unblockable, that's fine. Um, but I want him to be unblockable, like here. I'd rather him have a special two. I tried to intercept, he got me, then I got him back. Okay, and to see here, I, I did that because I wanted to push him to a special two. Now I was waiting a little bit, gave him a little love tap. He's unblockable, but that's okay. All right, and just wanna push him to a special two. All right, now see, he's unblockable here. And so if I don't intercept him and get him to a special two, I'm going to get clap. All right. And see here. Boom. Nothing I could do. He's unblockable. That's it. I was trying to intercept him like that to get him up there. All right. But nope. 
and here we go we've got the real nick fury out now okay so i really want to get him to a special two if i can but i don't have the real nick fury out right now so i have a nice little buffer so i'm in good shape right now all right and see he's unblockable but we got the special two which is easy to evade and now we're just gonna let that dgen do some work do that good work on that nick fury yep we don't care about all that you know fire them heavies off we don't care once he gets down to 30 percent then it's on you know we'll let him bait out that heavy and now we go in for the attack now he's unblockable there boom but he's stun immune so it didn't matter got the intercept so i didn't have to eat another special one then i fired off my special one just to finish him off and we got him down one shot so that ends my run uh i did not take the boss i didn't have any um any hits in on the boss uh we had someone come in and they took out uh the boss and uh, i believe they also took out that void as well all right so we'll be back in a quick minute here uh and you will find out how this war ended And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. All right. And look at that. MVP number two. I don't get MVP very often, but you saw I was putting in that work during this uh, war. Uh, very unusual for me. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.